Hey gang, Jason here for the love of tractors. I thought we would look at something a little different, a little older today. So this truck thing's been going well. You guys seem to like truck reviews and things like that. So I'm going to kind of keep doing some of those here and there. Uh, but I don't want to turn this into a truck channel either. <laughs> but uh, these are uh, Flex Hall Dump Bed and Low Boy. Now this is from a time when trucks in 164 scale were not very prevalent at all and I, that's probably hard for some of you guys to imagine because now that dcp is out there and they're just making everything it seems like the truck world in 164 scale is absolutely flooded right now but it wasn't that long ago where we didn't have very many options especially if you wanted a grain trailer you basically only had the Ertl hopper bottom if you wanted a dump trailer uh there was a couple plastic options that weren't very good and if you wanted a low boy, you had that crappy Ertl low boy that uh, was out of scale and wouldn't really hold anything very well. So, and then Flex Hall came along. <laughs> These were kind of a big deal at the time, kind of pricey because they weren't uh, mass produced or anything like that, but very cool. You know, let's truck trucks, y'all. <laughs> I guess the first thing you'll notice is I have one of those, uh, one of the first gear Mac cabs on my dump trailer here. You know, I just thought it looked cool <laughs> on this. But this trailer is really cool. It is all metal. So this thing's got some heft to it. it, it it's got some weight. Let's go ahead and keep that hooked up, though. And um, it lifts. Now, it does not have a cylinder in here. So that's... Uh, a tricky part but again this is all metal now there are guys or at least there were back in the day making uh, cylinder kits for these and it took a little bit of effort because I'll show you here the bottom of that trailer is pretty flat and this is pretty flat so you kinda had to do some cutting and fitting and so on and so forth to make that cylinder work now obviously I never got around to doing that on mine <laughs> but it could be done and like I said, this whole thing is metal. The inside of the bed, there's not much detail here. You can kind of see how it's held together and all that. The end gate does open up, which is cool. Very, very neat. I'm not uh, not centered very well here with the camera. Let me do some adjusting, if I can. Wow. There we go. There's that. Oh, got a little, <laughs> got a little dirt on my uh, end gate there from lifting it. <laughs> but. Um, if you look at the back, you got a decal here with the Flex Hall logo and a couple lights. And your end gate's got some little detail and things like that on it. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, the wheels and tires are, you know, pretty neat looking. Pretty good. That's, um, you know, that's definitely up to today's specs, I would say. But, um, there we go. There's a better view of them. Pretty neat little tires and wheels. Anyway, so I don't even remember what I paid for that thing back in the day. I mean, we're talking uh, 10 plus years ago anyway. And I'm going to, I want to say these were like in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 bucks. So back then, definitely that was quite a bit of money. But again, all metal and you didn't really have any other options. So, you know, that was, that was kind of it. Now, this low boy, now I've got a Mac on it. Now you can see that Mac is a little bit out of scale, but it looks cool. Um, so <laughs> we've come a long way on those too if you if you if you definitely compare these two Macs. I mean the hood doesn't open on this or anything. Like I said, this is out of scale a little bit and all that, but still a neat neat truck. And this low boy is a tri-axle. And then this was all optional to add this on. So of course I had to do it. I wanted to do it. Uh wanted a nice wide load logo and all that stuff on there. Uh you get the lights here and mud flaps back here. Like I said, tri-axle, and this is, of course, all metal. So now I had the holes for the outriggers. So there were guys that made some kits for those, or you could just pretty easily build your own outriggers, which is uh, what I ended up doing. And um, I don't know, I've kind of lost those along the way, because this just kind of sits on my shelf now, uh, that we've got those nifty DCP Fontaine and Rene Renegade uh, low boys. And you can see the, uh, the neck um, detaches and all that. It's kind of a clever way that does that. It just uh, kind of has this little little tabs, and you slide them over that, like so, and it's it's locked in as long as you know it's letting gravity do the work there. So as long as you got it hooked up to your truck, uh, it will never come off. So let's uh, 
Yeah, let's just grab this guy and stick on there. So you can see, like a big tractor like that, kind of hangs over, but that's pretty realistic. And if, especially if you had outriggers, that would look perfect on that. So, <laughs> all right, guys. I know that's like a simple, silly little video, but uh, I wanted to do that. I wanted to show it to you, show you these. I thought they were just kind of neat, and I know you truck guys are um, all, you know, liking liking these truck videos and stuff. Um, unfortunately these are really hard to get now so I don't know where to tell you if you want one and you know sorry just don't it's uh like I said it's a tricky thing at this point but anyway there they are <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching have yourselves a wonderful day happy tractor hunting